Chuck Fresh from Give Them Well. We're talking about air quality monitors. We've talked about water, we've talked about food, sugar, chocolate, coffee, but now it's time to take a look at your inside air and it could be harming you. Now, most of Asia, a lot of Europe has already set air quality standards for indoor air. The United States for some reason is just dragging their feet on there, but we kind of are 50 years behind the rest of the world anyway. But there are steps you could take right now to monitor the air inside your home or office or school or whatever that will keep you safe. Now, previously these machines, these are called air quality monitors. They're portable, they're small, and they're very sensitive and pretty darn accurate for the most part. We'll talk about three of them today and I'll cover more on this channel in the future. These two here, I'm gonna talk about Air Gradient because this guy, he's been doing this for a while and he's done a lot, he's done extensive research in Europe, Asia, and over here in North America in terms of the best sensors for air quality monitors. He used to sell this as a kit, so he's gone through several iterations of this model, come out with the Air Gradient 1, which is widely held and respected in the air quality monitoring industry. He does a lot of YouTube videos, has a lot of information about the sensors, picked out the best of the best, and figure out how to arrange them inside for the most accurate measurements. This guy over here goes by Carrefour. It's mentioned under another name on Amazon, and I'll include all the links below in the description. But this seems to be pretty darn close in terms of its accuracy. Now, there's a lot of people call them fake air quality monitors manufactured in China, and they seem to be kind of out of whack. So, these two seem to be in line pretty close within a 1% tolerance for the most part for CO2 measurements for, and I'll tell you more on this too, we'll go in depth to air quality, why you have to worry about these things, particulate matter, volatile organic chemicals, and also formaldehyde measurements inside your house. It's really rare to get everything that measures everything. This is one of the few that does all those in one. This one will do your carbon dioxide, it'll tell you your particulate matter, it'll tell you your volatile organic chemicals, and again, these are pretty close. It also tells your temperature and humidity, and these two, this will actually give you a 15-day report if you plug it in with a USB-C to your computer, and uh, you can run some uh, reports to see how it's trending, see if it changes over time, or if you change behaviors, or if you start a wood cutting shop in your house. This is really what we got these for. We're doing wood laser engraving and cutting, and we want to make sure we're not breathing bad air in that environment. When some of these things will give alarms off and let us know when it's time to open a door and air the thing out, just change the air, and which will hopefully keep, keep us healthy. Now these two seem to be pretty good. Again, I'll give you the links for these in the description. This one's a little kind of out in left field. There's like a 50, 30 to 50% error rate on here. Particular matter is kind of whacked out. The temperature is even a couple of degrees out of whack. I don't know if it's how they have these things arranged in here. Maybe the temperature sensor is too high. And it really, this guy explains that where you put the sensors inside the air quality monitoring unit makes a big difference because there's a natural airflow and you don't want your thermometer too high because the temperature will rise up and that will skew that result. So there's a lot of things to think about, a lot of science here behind these machines. So let's talk about these three and hopefully get you on the path to having cleaner air in your home, office, school, or wherever you're working, in your workshop like we are. We have evaluated about seven indoor air quality monitors in this Simbo or Care For, whatever brand they're going by, they settled the Simbo on Amazon, most closely matches the results we've gotten from professional calibration equipment. It closely matches the air gradient, which is the consumer leader, the consumer market leader in reliability. It's got two brightness settings on it. It's USB-C chargeable, not wall mountable unless you put it on a shelf or something. And the battery lasts for a couple of days when you unplug the USB-C, so that's kind of nice too. Again, only two screen brightnesses. It's not the brightest screen in the world. For most offices, it's going to be fine. But in terms of accuracy, some of the other meters we've tested are just way off the mark for temperature, for CO2, for formaldehyde, for organic chemicals. And this monitor, this Simbao or Care For, really has the most accurate results in this price range. So highly recommend it, give it a shot. Now this one seems to be the most reliable, the best tested, and just the most accurate air, indoor air quality monitor I could find, the Air Gradient One. You can buy the kit and build it yourself for 138 bucks. For a little bit more for 195, they'll solder and build the entire thing for you and test it in their chamber with a test report. So that's pretty cool. I chose to go that way just to have them tested to make sure everything worked. 
And here are the three that I tested in this particular scenario. And you can see that, that the Air Gradient 1 and the CAR 4, the one we talked about, uh, or Simbo, whatever it's called, seem to be pretty close in terms of results. I did my CO2 test. Well, it's not scientific, you just breathed on them. And uh, it took the air gradient, I'm sorry, a little bit longer to register that. But there are a lot of perks to the air gradient one that I really enjoy, especially the connected Wi-Fi reporting. And this is really a plus, and I'll show this to you in a second. But pound per pound, I think it is the best value on the market. Everything you need comes with it. It does come with a USB-C, you can plug it in there. There is no battery in here, so this thing needs to be connected to power at all times to generate reports. And you can change Celsius to Fahrenheit, whatever you want to do. And on the front screen, you're going to see your CO2, your particulate matter, and also your organic chemical um, measurements here. Now, you can add this to your dashboard. You can put several of these, and they also sell an outdoor air monitor. And then when you click on the dashboard, it gives you a whole bunch of information, more so than any of the other monitors I've tested. And it tells you about why these things might be bad for you. And it includes the measurements over time to see if there's changes. And you can see what's going on here over the past 48 hours. And you can see that we've done some experiments with CO2. I opened the house up. You see where that huge dip is here? I opened all the doors in the house and cleared it out. And you see there's a significant drop in CO2 for a while. Of course, it came back up. I did it again here just to see if it's measuring things. And the measurements look pretty darn accurate. And you can see the volatile organic chemicals tend to rise when we're cooking with our gas burner. Yeah, I know you shouldn't do that. You see the times that we cook around here, they spike. And that is exactly what you want to see. And that's probably the time you want to open things up, get a little more fresh air going on here. A whole bunch of reports. They even tell you how your Wi-Fi signal is doing. I mean, just a tremendous amount of data that you can parse and do whatever you want with. The Air Gradient 1, probably the most reliable, the most accurate, and our favorite air quality monitor.